Hello and welcome to the weekend edition of E Prime. I'm Deidran. Jamaican born actress and former model Grace Jones is mourning the death of her mother. Marjorie Jones was hospitalized at the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center following a massive stroke in September. She passed away in October, too. Grace Jones is known for her 1985 appearance in the movie A View to Kill when she played the Bond girl role in the vastly popular spy movie franchise. She also enjoyed a successful career as a singer and model. E-Prime extends condolences to the family and friends of Marjorie Jones. Dancehall artist Bounty Killer Dexter Daps and Blackman will all be lending their voices to a positive cause later this month. The dancehall acts who all share the same affiliation with the inner city community of Seaview Gardens have teamed up with United States-based record label Island Jams to organize a charity event that will take place on October 29. The charity concert is set to aid the development of a recreational center for the children of the community, the renovation of the Hunts Bay and Seaview Gardens police stations, as well as providing three scholarships for students. The concert will also feature other dancehall stars like Tommy Lee Sparta, Massacre and a host of others. She's on a roll. Recording artist Safira Mona has been on a mission to change lives with her music, leading with her Croft Life music video, which was released earlier this year. The single has been receiving rave reviews globally and today the reggae artist is here to share with us the experience. I am Safira Mona and Safira Mona is an authentic, militant and outspoken reggae artist. My music that I deliver to the people is to uplift the nation and you'll always get positive message to my music. Cruff Life music video produced by Wayne Benjamin and written by Safira Mono. It has been released, you can check it out, Vivo, YouTube, Facebook, all the other social media angles. Right now, the song Cruff Life is doing so great. Getting a lot of feedback from the Caribbean itself, getting feedback from Europe, getting feedback from the world within itself. You don't know we plug into the universe, so we're getting that feedback greatly. We expect to go to Trinidad soon and do a lot of works over there with the DJs them over there and they show them the promoter them and so forth. The monitor artist also updates us on her upcoming projects, including her new album, Just a Woman. Safari Mono Just a Woman album is expected to be released in 2018 and Jumper Records. And this album is a special album and more of the people them to just listen it. You get great music, you get monitor, you get Croft Life. And right now you get Do It To Ja. Do It To Ja is actually the leading song for the album. And greater song depth on the album, so check it out. And this song, this album itself, is out there for the people them to listen and, and connect back with them roots and themselves. And know, say, youths, you don't have to change on yourself, you don't just be on yourself. Singer Jay to release a new EP. The singer is maintaining his stance in the music industry with Can't Stop Me Now EP to be released later this month. The project, exclusively produced by Friends For Real Productions, features six tracks including the lead single Can't Stop Me Now, Party among others. The artist maintained a busy schedule during the summer and continues the trend to close the year with performances slated for the United States, Turks and Caicos and the United Kingdom. And that's it for the weekend edition of E-Prime. I'm Deidre Ann Gordon. Have a nice holiday.